Hey everybody, welcome to Midnight Update. I'm Seamus Byrne. This is Rosalind Kogan. This is the Kogan Agora Netbook. And this is Friday the 13th of March. So, we're here having a, uh, an exclusive first look at the Kogan Agora branded uh, netbook. Is it just the netbook or netbook pro? Uh, there's the two models. Yep. There's a netbook and a netbook pro. So netbook's going to be four ninety nine. The netbook pro five thirty nine. Cool. Um, specs: We're talking Atom N seventy processor, one sixty gig hard drive, three USBs, a one point three megapixel web camera, and a mic sitting here tidy on the keyboard. Um, matte finish screen, not gloss, and that's about it for the specs. So the 499 model gets you one gig of RAM and a three cell battery, $539, two gigs RAM, six cell battery, plus, do you have that little Bluetooth dongle yeah. bit? So there's no Bluetooth built in, but instead you get a little uh, mm. dongle, tiny little thing just there. Um, and on the 499 version, uh, you can get the Bluetooth dongle for an extra 10 bucks. So Kogan's going to give us a quick wander through uh, what's going on with GOS, which is the Linux-based, uh, Ubuntu-based operating system yep. that's running on board. So let's take a look. So what we see here is the Kogan Agora netbook running GOS, which is good OS, and it's the operating system that we chose for the Kogan netbook. We chose it because it's fast, it's reliable, and it's very functional as well. There is a lot and a lot of things you can do in it. Um, it's got a very nice looking interface and it's built in with a lot of apps that you get for free. Um, if we look along the menu bar here, we can see that it comes pre-installed with things like Firefox, um, a whole host of Google applications like Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Documents, Google Maps, Google Reader, News, Blogger, things like that. It also comes with Skype pre-installed, it comes with Pigeon pre-installed, which is an app that you can use all your ICQ, MSN, AOL Messenger functionality with. Um, I think I said Skype, but also it's got open office. I'll take you into this feature, which I think is one of the greatest features of GOS and Ubuntu, which is what GOS runs on top of, and that's the Applications Manager. So people used to think that Linux means that it's difficult to use and hard to install applications, whereas what's happening now is it's even easier to use than other systems that you may be familiar with. Now this list is always updated with the latest and greatest software. There's great uh, popularity functionality which lets you see what sort of programs other people are liking and using. There's a updating functionality, you just click update and it, it'll connect to the internet, search for the latest updates for everything cool. and installs them. So yeah, it definitely does all of that. I've got pretty meaty hands so I thought it's always a good test to actually just try to get in and um, have a test on what is a 10 inch keyboard but they've clearly done a good job on you know getting close to edge to edge on this which um, which I'm pretty pleased with and um, while I'll just keep typing what I'm saying <laughs> um, I, I'm making a few more errors than I usually would um, but you know if I was just out and about needing a you know a good netbook to, to get me by during the day then I think this is actually a good size. This model is running Windows 7 they're not supporting that as an option you can buy but they brought along a demo model so we can actually see that it runs quite comfortably. Um, uh, a couple of nights ago when I was talking about the Dell Mini 9 I mentioned uh, which is still here you can see for comparison um, uh, yeah I mentioned that the big problem with it is Windows XP that I think we really need to get past Vista and that I'd heard that Windows 7 is a lot better for the netbook kind of world. Um, uh, Kogan and the guys have definitely said that this uh, runs just like so much better, uh, but that it obviously add a lot of cost to the, the final output of actually buying a model. Um, not to mention the fact that uh, one of the luxuries of having a Linux system is definitely being able to have a lot of good software pre-installed. I thought we'd do a, um, just a quick like boot test just to see how they go. Um, 
obviously one of these has two gigs of RAM in it, so um, that's not going to be quite so fair. There's a slight issue as well. Oh yeah. The, the one with Windows 7 has Windows 7 and GOS. Oh, forget what I said. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked it itself was out. It was meant to ask which which OS do you want to boot into. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. No, that's right. I have to say, it's no surprise that a Linux operating system would sort of get most of the way there first, but, you know, it did manage to get there. Oh, wow. That's, uh, I'm impressed that Windows, Windows 7, 7 Linux. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. No slouch. And it's actually... Because what they did in Vista is they made it look like it's loaded, but you couldn't click anywhere yet. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> with this, like all apps are ready to go with Windows 7. It's whatever they've done, they've done something really good. Mm. Like cut the fat. So this is the one gig. This has one gig RAM. No, they're both. The two. Oh, they're, they're, they're both. both they're both the two. Okay, yep, yeah, cool. Yeah. This is the six cell battery. Which you can see. Um, just has the extra bit there and then that's the the flush for the three uh, three cell version nice so together we've just had our first half hour uh, I guess is what I had here look at the new Kogan Agora netbook I think this is actually a very smart move for the Kogan team because while they're in a lot of other areas they're playing in home entertainment consumer electronics there's a lot of polish available there that you are, to a degree, getting what you pay for. Um, in the netbook space, this is all about smart, small, efficient computing. And from what we've seen here today, I'm really impressed with the hardware and the choice of software is definitely a very good move. Uh, as I'd mentioned earlier, my impressions on the Dell Mini 9 and the fact that everything was great except Windows XP. Uh, the fact that he's gone with GOS, it looks and feels great. Um, interesting to see the boot test and see the way Windows 7 um, is in fact going to be really fast and slick in the netbook world. Um, so there's a lot of promise there for later in the year. But this is a great start for the uh, Kogan line of netbooks. Um, we're going to get our hands on for a, a more solid test in a few weeks time once they have uh, more on the ground but at $4.99 even the $5.39 I think this is a great piece of hardware and uh, definitely well worth keeping in mind if you are thinking about taking the leap into the netbook market. And that's all for tonight's update thanks for stopping by join us weeknights around midnight Sydney time for daily geek news and for more coverage visit midnightupdate.com People will be like, what, what, what's Kogan Dawn hanging out at your place at midnight? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, welcome to Midnight Update. <laughs> welcome to Midnight Update, I'm Seamus Byrne, this is Rosalind Kogan, and welcome to Friday the 13th of February. February? <laughs>